Hello everyone, welcome to the introduction video for the paper on the potomic profiling of bird sailors, Lachniformis, which reveals a stress response mechanism in the synthesis of extracellular polymeric fluorescence. This work was accomplished by Xiamen University in cooperation with State University of New York and Binghamton and published in Biotechnology and Bioengineering. Here are our group members. Dr. He, Dr. Li, Dr. Wang, Dr. Zhong, Dr. Sen, Mr. Yu, Mr. Chen, and Ms. Yan. The stream Barcellus lacniformis we used was isolated by our group with the number of CGMCC2876. In a previous study, it was found to produce extracellular polysaccharides, what's short for EPS. But when the cultural condition was changed, the string could produce polygamma glutamic acid, also called gamma PGA. Both polymers show high fluctuating activities and potential applications of industries. That's our interest. This paper more focused on its metabolic mechanisms. The method we use is SWAT mass spectrum, which can analyze protein quantitatively and quantitatively that we can discover the stress response mechanism during the synthesis of polymers. The stream was captured in LB EPS PGA media individually. From the figures, we can tell that the stream has different growth curves and morphologies under different medium, which suggests that it properly involved in different metabolic mechanisms. Compared to the intracellular proteins under LB medium, the up-regulated and down-regulated proteins under EPS and PGA medium were identified respectively. Among of these identified proteins, most of them related to either the synthesis of amino acid or the degradation of amino acid. For the amino acid degradation, the amino acid degrade due to the down-regulated enzyme, which are marked by the green and pink arrows in this figure. However, the biosynthesis of amino acid relate to the upregulated proteins, which are shown in this figure. So far, it is supposed that the extracellular polymeric synthesis is closely related to the amino acid metabolism. The hypothesis was verified by quantitative PCR of selective genes which was quite consistent with the results from differential proteins. Also, the intracellular free amino acid was detected. Compared to the sample from LB medium, the bacteria with a starvation of amino acid within both EPS and gum PGA medium. Above all, we can conclude that in order to mitigate the starvation of amino acid, Bacillus lacniformis was likely to synthesize either EPS or GAMPJ polymers by regulating the intracellular metabolism. Thank you for your attention.